G'day, it's Steve Wilson from the Golden Broken Catcher Management Authority. It's the uh, 4th of October 2012 and we're on a dairy property uh, on the outskirts of Namurka in Northern Victoria. Um, now we're here to talk to one of the landholders that has actually um, become part of one of our projects which is called the Threatened Grassy Woodlands Project. Uh, it's a Caring for Country initi initiative uh, which the Australian Government funds and supports and it aims to secure threatened grassy woodland habitat um, across our catchment and this particular site is 70 acres and the landholder has worked with us and through our agency partners DSC and DPI to actually protect this site, sign it up to covenant so it's got permanent protection and also to manage this for, for in perpetuity. So there's a management plan that, that covers this and obviously the landholder gets support to do that uh, through the funding support and also we, we regularly visit, we talk to the landholder and see how things are travelling and, and regularly monitor and see how the site responds. So this site at the moment is looking very good, we've had good season all around us, the cases are, are flowering, the trees behind us are grey box, this is a grey box bullock, bullock woodland which is an EPBC listed threatened species woodland so it's, it's a high, high priority target for us and the, the fact that we've got 70 acres locked up is fantastic. The landholder Nick Stanaway informs us there's uh, lace monitors here which are a threatened species in Victoria, they're a large uh, goanna. This we've also seen, we've seen kangaroos here, looking around in the ground cover there's lots of plants coming up so it's a really good active site and because it's protected, it's fenced and locked up it will it will respond and, it'll, and the aim is that you want to have the, the landscape uh, renew itself naturally so the trees can regenerate and not get hammered by uh, you know, excessive grazing or poor practices. So this is you know, a terrific initiative. Um, Australian Government has been very supportive in this space. We really uh, appreciate the funding support and it's our aim to work with community and get these sort of sites protected. It's a great job. Thanks. What attracted you to this particular project where you're actually looking at protecting a site as opposed to using it actively in production? One thing was that we can still use it for light grazing, so we don't lose the whole financial benefit of it. But the real reason is just that neither of us are here, or none of us are here for a real long time, but if we get a chance to look after some of these areas, <laughs> then uh, my opinion is we give it a crack because there's less and less of it. And um, the endangered species now, the, the, um, the loss rate is becoming so high that if nothing's done, then we're pretty much screwed. How have you found the actual management planning of the, of the process? So you've obviously you've signed up, you've, you've got some resources to do it. So over, over your time on this earth, when you're managing this country, how, yep. do you, how, you, how are you actually going to manage this particular site? Well, we'll, we'll manage it to a grazing plan which is set up by Trust for Nature um, and with their financial help, which is necessary to keep doing this. Sure. Uh, otherwise, uh, it creates too much pressure on us from a financial point of view. Sure. Um, and hopefully, we'll just be able to continue to keep improving these areas, N not, not on a huge scale, but on a gradual scale, so that whoever takes over in the future can keep doing the same sort of work. Walking around, there's already been a bit of direct seeding happening, which is looking pretty good. Yeah, so this is marvellous. This is yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Any plans to do more in that space? In this area, it's nearly complete, but any areas that um, we go over in the next few years, we'll just look at them and evaluate them essentially on a day-to-day -day basis, have a look and yeah. see what we can improve on. Well, we certainly appreciate uh, your passion and your interest in, in you know, keeping these... Um, unique areas together and uh, yeah I would like to see more landholders like her I think it's fantastic so